you should really leave now. It's not in your best interest to be here. Why is that, Laura? Are you worried you might hurt me? And your mother? Were you worried you might hurt her too? You take a long time to get to the point, Doctor. What is it you really want to know? Okay. I want to know what's running through your mind when you stabbed your mother. Although clearly suffering from deep psychological issues, my initial evaluation is less precise than thought. And as such, despite pressure from the board for a quick diagnosis and report, I will be requesting more time. That concludes my notes for day one, case number 651F. You wouldn't understand. Try and explain it to me. You know, when you have a thought and you have no idea how it got there, it's a horrible thought. And you hate yourself for thinking it. Well, it's like that, except, except it's louder, more constant. It gets. hearing it. You start to see it. What did you see? It's more like, like the feeling of dread. You know when you have a nightmare and you can't get out and you can't escape. <laughs> Can you feel it? Signs of severe psychosis are very apparent. Although the patient admits to hallucinations and disturbed thoughts, she has an unusually strong sense of self-awareness and insight into her condition. I myself felt a, a heightened sense of unease around her in today's session. Are you coming to bed tonight? Yeah, I'll be there in a sec. You better be. I feel somewhat uncomfortable with how today went, but at this time I'm unsure how to explain it. I never said she deserved it. Well then why did you do it? Does there have to be a reason? Something happened in your mind. There was some thought process that led to you attacking that nurse. Was it something that happened during one of our sessions? It's too late now. But it's his choice. incident, 
patient has been kept within additional security measures. I am, however, allowed to continue with my evaluation. And although I remain cautious, I do not believe myself to be in any direct threat from her physically. Psychologically, I am unsure what threat she poses to those around her. I refer specifically to what she said to me today towards the end of our session. Without directly threatening me, she mentioned I was in danger. When asked what she meant by this, she whispered the following into my ear. Done in a second. Be out in a minute, okay? Sleep. Why don't you let me ease the tension? Not tonight. Technically, it's morning. You've got to love technicalities. Are you okay, honey? You look unsettled today, Eric. You sound different. I feel different. But let's keep a conversation on you now, shall we? Why is that? Well, that's why I'm here after all, isn't it? You're not making any sense. Would you like me to explain the situation before we continue? Just calm down. There's no reason for you to be afraid or angry. I'm leaving. I'm introducing you. Oh. And I suppose you've known him for a couple of days now, haven't you? <laughs> Tonight. It's like my own thoughts were being interrupted. Do you know when you have a nightmare and you can't get out and you can't escape? Doctor? Doctor? Can we talk more about Laura? No, you can feel it breathing on you. When you first started interviewing her, did everything feel normal? It's too late now. It's his choice. You should really leave now. It's not in your best interest to be here.